Chapter 1.2, Video 2. In this video, we will discuss finding specific solutions of initial value problems. As we discussed in the previous video, we can find general solutions to differential equations. General solutions are solutions with a parameter but sometimes we want a more specific answer and often we will have more information than just the differential equation We can use this information to find a specific solution for example in a class of problems called initial value problems we have information on a single value of y, which is the initial value. Now here's an example. Take the differential equation dy dx equals 2x minus 3. We have the initial value y equals minus 3 when x equals 2. From a previous video, we have calculated the general solution. It is y equals x squared minus 3x plus c. So we want to find which specific value of C is the correct one. We can use our extra information to nail down a value, the correct value. of C. And by extra information I'm referring to this initial value right here. So how do we do that? So we have this equation y equals x squared minus 3x plus C. We have to solve for C. And we know that when y equals minus 3, x equals 2. So we simply plug in all those values. y equals minus 3 equals x replaced with 2 minus 3 replaced with 2 plus c. We can then solve for c. 
So this simplifies to minus 3 equals 4 minus 6 plus c. And some algebra will get us that c equals minus 3 minus 4 plus 6 equals minus 7 plus 6, which is minus 1. And this means that going back at our equation, our specific solution is the general solution here, y equals x squared minus 3x plus c, except that we replace c with minus 1. And that is the answer to our initial value problem.